Hey everyone, it's Marcus again. Um, remember a couple episodes where I did that intro where I gave a shout out to my friend Jasmine's shop? Well, I'm here to tell you more about it. Um, so basically, I'm here to tell you a bit more about her products, okay? So, what we got? Her shop basically includes like a bunch of like products for health to take care of you, the lovely peoples out there. Because what we got? We got laundry detergent, we have makeup, skin care, multivitamins, weight loss, energy, all good stuff, all organic, all to take care of you, so spare no expense with it, trust me. So go to amway.com slash shop with Jasmine, trust me, you don't want to miss out on this, it's good stuff. And I mean it when I say it's all organic. It's also vegan. And some of it's gluten free. So if you're like really picky or something, well, pick no more. Okay? Uh, I'm actually going to have one of these, these, uh, these bars right here. What, you want to go with the crowd? You want to have like the, 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 the Quaker Oats stuff? That should taste like paper. Or you want to get like, Thai laundry detergent? What, you want that Neutrogena? You guys are shoobies, man. This is good stuff right here. Uh, hold on, let me check this out real quick. Uh, 15 grams of protein and 109 calories. Pretty good. I'm gonna eat one of these right now in front of you just to make you feel bad. What, so I'm gonna get one of you? You can't have this. I mean, granted, like, I got this for free because I got the friend discount. You can't have one of these. That's why I'm telling you, go get your own. I mean, you want in front of me, make you feel bad. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. This doesn't taste like paper at all, like the other, the other health bars. This actually tastes pretty good. Uh, I'm not biting from you. Make you feel bad. That's right. I'm gonna stare. To, I'm gonna stare you down even in front of you. The link's still up, by the way. It's in the description. That's why I'm trusting you to go out and get yourself something good. Just go stuff. That's right. I'm gonna hit the whole bar in front of you. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I don't give I don't give a rat's ass about this. I'm guilt tripping you. This is good. This is ultra, ultra good. <laughs> hey, you like seafood? Ah. Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts with Razzle Dazzle Marcus. In the last episode, we cleared through Agrabah, and we have a torn page now that we are going to use on this wonderful book. We are going to use said torn page to go back to the Hundred Acre Wood. Uh, I was already here. Should be new. Yeah, here it is. A tall, curious tree with buzzing bees. Take a look. Yeah. Hey, it's the honey tree. Oh, 
Oh, it's Piglet. Oh, look how small he is. Look how tiny he is. What am I to do? I'm all alone. Aw. Pooh. Pooh. Where are you? It's me, Piglet. <gasps> oh my god, look how, <laughs> how tall we are compared to Piglet. Alright, come back! Where are you going? Oh, he's scared. And it talks it. Oh, he just runs back in the bush. Ah, camera. And he goes over here. No, I guess he's still in that bush, I guess. Oh no, I, I had to do this shit. Look at this. Oh, I guess he's not here. I wonder where he could be. Oh, he's not gonna pop out. Fine, I'll go over here. What the fuck? Why is he not coming out? Fine, I'll hide behind this bush right here. Oh, okay, there we go. He pops out. He's like, oh, 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 oh. All right, I'm gonna stop fucking around. That's just funny to me. Oh, come on, talk to him. Damn it. Come on, you fucker. I just want to talk to you. Why, why can't I talk to him? Wait, do I have to let him be for a little bit? Or do I have to sneak up on him? I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to hit him, I'm trying to talk to him. Let's go around here. The fuck? I'm trying to, uh... Oh my god, this is... How, why is this not working? Oh wait, maybe... I should do it from a distance? Because... Alright. What the fuck? It was funny at first, but now it's like kind of pissing me off. What am I doing wrong? Hold on, um... I can't believe I'm gonna have to do this, but I guess I need a fucking walkthrough just to talk to Piglet. Hold on. <laughs> That's really funny! So I looked up Kingdom Hearts Piglet, and like, the next thing that popped up was <laughs> Piglet keeps running away. <laughs> oh my god. How do I... This is on Yahoo Answers, by the way. How do I stop Piglet from running away from me in Kingdom Hearts 1? Piglet keeps running away from me in Kingdom Hearts 1, what am I supposed to do? Run counterclockwise. If you encounter more problems, just go to GameFacts.com. I had this problem, and that's where I found the solution. Next answer, uh, well, if you're talking about the first time you encounter Piglet after the first cutscene uh, cut in the book, then you cannot stop him from running away from you. That's the end of that page. You have to go out and find more pi Oh, wait, do I have to find more pages? Hold on, um, fuck, I, I, I have no idea what counterclockwise means, um, maybe from that, alright, he's gonna, he's gonna pop out right here, maybe I have to go around, and then talk to him, oh, okay, there we go, boy, do I feel like a fucking idiot, did someone just seriously, like, 
ask if they need to get more pages. I already found a page, and like it should be just for this whole thing alone. You're looking for poo, right? Like, yeah, I have to get an extra page just for this one area that I'm already in. I guess I had to run around the tree. I have something for him. I have to take it to poo right away. Oh my god, I feel like a fucking idiot. Why didn't I think of that before? I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Poo! Hello, Piglet. Honey is a, honey is a, honestly gross to me. Ooh, you put it in tea and like, ugh. I thought you'd gone away. And like, even if you like take honey alone, it's like, ugh, it's like, ugh. Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? How Pooh eats this shit and like the amount that he does really astounds me because I cannot stand honey. What if you take their honey? I'm basically like Tigger. Tiggers don't like honey. Oh. Oh what? Oh, I guess I have to help Pooh. A morsel of honey? Don't you mean a smackerel of honey? Yes, I'll um, I'll help you, Pooh. Hey, Owl. Oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Pooh. What are you doing? Using a balloon to get honey? Splendid idea. Allow me to offer a few pointers. Does it take forever to fly to the next branch? <clears throat> now, Pooh could get honey by floating up this tree with his balloon. The honey is inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. I mean, the beehives is where they store honey. I don't know why they put it in the hollow. Maybe they're special kind of bees. There's quite a lot of honey in these holes. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If Pooh, if they get to Pooh, They'll pop his balloon, lock onto the bees, and swat them away. The more time Pooh has in each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey up higher, too. If jumping from branch to branch proves difficult, try using the rush button. Yeah, I love how there's a fucking command just for something as simple as jumping from branch to branch. But it isn't fully reliable. Good luck! <laughs> wow, alright. I guess the game is being honest with me about how bad this minigame is made. Eh, uh, fuck you. Eh, uh, fuck you. Ah, no! Where's the rush command? There you go. Ah, shit. Poof. No! Oh, wait. I guess the minigame's still going. Fuck. Ah. Uh, no! Fuck you. Wow, that. Well, I'll really meant it when the rush command wasn't reliable. All right, and screw off. Okay. All right, I think I got it now. So like, as soon as they get near Pooh, like, like really, really uncomfortably, uh, uncomfortably close to Pooh, like that. That's my swat. Cool beans. It's got fairly easy. By the way, that's not that's not me jumping. Like whenever I swap the bees, Sora jumps automatically to the, like the next nearest branch, which could be like the branch I'm already on. Yeah, see, like that. I just freaking hate it when like 
you do swap the bees and like you automatically do jump and like Sora like jumps like on the same branches before or at least like when he jumps to the next branch and it's like really really uncomfortably close to the edge like that and get off him <clears throat> So yeah, the Hundred Acre Wood isn't really necessarily about finding the keyhole and like uh, defeating Heartless. It's just mini games, basically. It's really neat how like they incorporated Hundred Acre Wood into Kingdom Hearts. Like I would have expected like, or at least like a non Kingdom Hearts player. Come on, camera. I guess like any non-player of Kingdom Hearts would have probably expected like 100 Acre Wood to be like Oh my god, Pooh is in trouble because of all these Heartless and like it's kind of dark. But no, it's just mostly minigames. That's not the branch that we were just at. It is rather funny. What I will do for honey. <laughs> I mean, I did most of the work, Pooh. I mean, give credit where credit is due. Come on. The torn page turned into a new item. Nature Spark. Cool. So, I think that... Yeah, that's new summon gem. So, yeah. First torn page. Dunskies. How much time do we got left? Um, 17. Wow, we have like a bunch of time. I'm not exactly sure what we can do for the meantime. <laughs> I, I, I honestly thought like um, doing that torn page would have like taken up a, like a bit longer. Oh, another summon gem? Let's help this little one. Here we go. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Learn summon spell Bambi. If you find any more of these stones, bring them to me. Okay, cool. So now we have not one, not two, but three summons already. That's it. Three. What are those trace? No substitutions, the Spanish or refunds. I really need I really need to stop doing that. Because, like, each and every single time I do it, it's like I get more mumbly. No, so as soon as you can say this, refunds. I'm just gonna probably just resort to, like, putting the actual clip on the screen. Not now, but later. I guess we can use one of our summons now. Uh, let's use. Let's use Simba. And like for each summon that we get, we get this cool, uh, we get like a cool new intro. Or like we get a cool like entrance, rather. Yes! Alright, Seba, come over here. So yeah, how you use Simba is that you charge up uh, his power by using the charge button, obviously. And like the longer you charge it, the more powerful it gets. Would you stop fucking hitting me? There you go. And look at that. Look how much damage we did in just that brief amount of time. Honestly, I don't use summons all that much. If anything, I stop. Actually, I'm gonna show you another one right here. Um, yeah, might as well show a couple of summons. Uh, let me show you genies. So how you use genie actually kind of confused me as a kid. Because every time I seemed to use genie, it never seemed to work. But then I realized that you need to lock on to the targets. Okay, let's check this out. <laughs> the lock on target becomes genie's face. So like each target that uh, Genie is locked onto, will just fucking go ham on.
That's the reason why I like Genie's like a whole lot more. It's like a lot easier to use than uh, Simba's. I don't know if I have. Oh shit! No, 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 no! I didn't mean to. I was about to show you Bambi's, but I accidentally put Genie again. All right, hurry the fuck up, Genie. Uh, where's... There you go. Oh, great, I'm out of MP now. Fuck off! Trying to show guys something. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me use a couple of ethers on myself. Actually, no, I'm gonna use an elixir. I mean, I barely use elixirs in the first place, so... Eh, might as well use them now. Okay. Go past this guy. Let's go in the middle of the open. And here's Bambi's. Bambi's is not at all an attack. You'll see what I mean in a second. Look at this. Look how, look how cute this motherfucker is. Completely oblivious to the fact that his mom died. Look at him, he's just jumping all willing. Yeah, that's what he does. He just basically like goes around the, the the field and just like spews out MP everywhere. So you can basically spam your magic like all hell. Hold on, let me get rid of these guys real quick. I don't really use Bambi's all that much. Just because of the fact that it's more support than attack. But it is kind of neat to just fucking go ham with your magic. Did Bambi already leave? Yeah, he did. But there's still like a uh, shitload of MP around. Ah, I'm trying to get money. I cannot wait till I get an upgrade for Thunder. Just get rid of these guys, get more monies. I'm just gonna finish it, uh, finish up this battle. I mean, I would do more grinding uh, just to play this episode out, play this episode out a bit more. But yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I should be more than uh, ready for the next world about to come next, about to come our way. Let's go back to the first district. How much time do I have now? I have 11 minutes. Why is it... Why is it still currently closed off? We already... Oh, oh wait. Oh, I know. I know what we have to do. So... You just climb up here. Very good. And then you just go out this door and that opens it. Oh, uh, let me check out the, how much money do we have? We have 3,000, very good. Let me check out the item shop real quick because I don't know if Huey, Dewey, and Louie have new items for Donald and Goofy. Oh, yes they do. Um, okay. Uh, okay, Donald has Morningstar. Oh, wow, there's like a bunch more. Um, okay, a powerful hammer made for combat reduces... We don't, yeah, we don't want anything that reduces MP. We want... We want stuff like that. Yeah, we do. Oh, mm-hmm. Wait. Oh, okay. So, yeah, let me get that. And Goofy has some shields as well. Very large shield, best suited for defense, but is also an effective weapon. No. Um, a small, powerful shield made for attack rather than defense. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the one that costs a bit more. 
I could have been in politics, cause I've always been a big spender. <laughs> Speaking of spending, might as well spend a bit more while we're here. Let's see what Sid has to offer. I don't think we can get much though. Sorry, Sid. I'm here to shop. Uh, we already have that. Yeah, I bought a couple more gummies, by the way. Um, what else can we get? Ooh. Um, uh, yeah, let's get that. And then what else does... Oh, wow. You have so much more than before. <laughs> Just clearing one world grants you... Oh, shit. Just clearing one world. One world can get you that much more to work with. Jeez. Okay. I'm pretty sure this guy has some more stuff to sell as well. Uh, what do you have now? Uh, Chaos Ring. Reduces dark damage. But that's kind of like the Dark Ring, no? Oh, it's slightly... Okay, so my Dark Ring is, like, a lot better. And then these... Yeah. Wow. Never come to the accessory shop. You guys are fucking useless. However, um, when was the last time we came here? Oh, wait, um, shit, no, never mind. I was about to say, there could be something, well, I might as well check anyway, because I cleared that one part of Hundred Acre Wood. So, who knows, they might actually have some new things that I can synthesize. Okay, apparently they do. <laughs> Uh, what do you have now, actually? You have a Mega Potion, I don't need that. AP up, hmm. Uh, an Angel Bangle. Sounds like a band. Well, I mean, it is a band, but, like, I mean, a musical artist. Uh, Magic. Ooh! Hmm, I love Magic. Hmm. Uh, Blaze Shard. Uh, yeah, let's do it. A golem chain. Fuck. I guess that's the only thing we can make, huh? Ah, oh, shit. Um. Mmm, shit! Oh, well. Let's see what this uh, magical armlet does. Uh, let's see. Slightly raises max AP, uh, MP. Also enhances magic and summon power. Did I equip something like that? Yeah, I did. Let's give that to Donald, let's see. That reduces his defense to 18. Whatever. J just so he could stay up with, uh, stay up with me. Wow, this thing actually looks very similar to the staff that Donald started out with. Let's give him that. Uh, okay, this is the one that we just bought. Yeah, I I think I remember buying the stout shield as a mistake. So yeah, let's give him that. Uh, mm. So all right, do we? Okay, yeah, I was the one who got more AP. Okay, so what I could also do is that I could get rid of that so, like, I don't feel as overpowered above Donald Goofy. Hey, I'm a fair guy. Um, what can I give to myself, then? I can give myself that, and that reason my def- hmm. Let's give myself that, and then, do I have any new abilities? No, I just have Sonic Blade. Ah, you know, fuck it. I'm not gonna use it anyway, but, oh well. And then let's take a look. So my strength is at 23 now. 
Defense is at 19. Okay, so I'm fairly on the same level as Donald Goofy now. Cool. Again, I don't want to feel like the one who has the most power here. And we're all relatively like close to each other as far as levels go, so... Yeah. Oh my god. Um, did Donald just actually gain two slots of MP? Uh, he did. That's actually pretty good. More MP to Donald, please. Uh, I think I need to get more Mithril's, I think. In order to get more magic armlets. Because, trust me, I am going to be using magic like the fucking plague. Uh, how much time do we have left now? Sorry, I'm like checking the time. I just want to round this episode. Alright, three minutes. So we have about... Uh, I actually don't know when exactly I'm going to be getting that Keyblade. Oh well. I might as well end the episode off right here. So I don't stall even more than I already have been. So, um, next episode we are going to be going to the next world. Um, hopefully we can get there on the first try because... This world is actually uh, a bit unique. You'll see why. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hmm. This is really good. Mm. Mm. This is really very good. Who won't want to spend the money on this, you know? I mean, I only ordered the energy drinks, but I'm definitely going to order more of her stuff soon. I'm going to order this next time. Mm. That's really good. Mm. All organic. All organic. I'm finishing up right now. Oh. Mm. Very good. Mm. So good now. I wish I asked her for more. <laughs> Oh well, don't want to take away any of her prop, but... <laughs>